What is up everyone, Scotty Hop here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys a quick video on how to test your fuel injectors in your Jaguar S-Type R. Jaguar, Jaguar, I'm gonna make someone mad no matter how I call it, but we're gonna test the fuel injectors on this thing. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is that the supercharger's removed. So if you haven't seen my supercharger video, I'm gonna link it right up here. Boop, look at that. All right, so we got the supercharger removed. Next, all you have to do is remove the intercoolers which is pretty simple. Those two guys right there, they're just held on with a couple T30 Torx bits. Once you get all those removed, then you're gonna have access to the fuel injector harness. We still have that side still hooked up. As you can see, someone's already re removed and replaced two of the fuel injectors, so we gotta do another one. And unplug it. We unplugged ours right here. It's a little janky, so we're just gonna get a new one. Now the uh, code that I had, it said a fuel injector circuit for cylinder seven. This is cylinder seven right here. I thought the wiring could have been bad, but I believe it's the fuel injector. We're essentially gonna be checking the resistance of each fuel injector. Kind of sucks that we had to remove the whole entire supercharger and all of that just to get to the fuel rail and everything, but it is what it is. So today we're gonna be testing the resistance of each one. And this one is bad. I'll show you guys how to check. Here's my multimeter. I'll tag which one I bought off of Amazon down below. It works pretty well. I'm gonna put it into ohms. Put it on the lowest setting because we're only gonna be at like 15 or something like that. And what I like to do too is have it on the noise button so it tells me. Okay, let me set up my camera so I can show you guys how we're gonna check these. First, we're gonna double check it, make sure it works. Make sure our pins are working. Yeah, beeping and all that. Okay, now there, each fuel injector has two little prongs. We're going to somehow put these little pins on it. So it's kind of hard because I don't have the right uh, outputs, but here we go. First, you want to check one that you know that works. So we got 12.6, 12.5 ohms. Okay, so got 12.5 on that one. Let's t test this next one. Let me get this set up. Okay, see it? Yep. Got all this crud in our way. Okay, let's move that out of the way. It's broke, anyways. <laughs> okay, let's test this one. Okay, we got 12.6 on that, 12.5. You want it to be within a base of, at max 0.5. All right, now we're going to test this one. I think my hand's in your guys' way, but got 12.5 on that one as well. Now, let's go to the one that is a little sus, a little suspicious. We got nothing. Okay, let me relocate. So, just so I'm not crazy, I'm gonna make sure that I'm on there. You can just put any piece of metal to make the foam, nothing. So we have a dead injector. So that's the one that needs to be replaced. Which results in taking out the fuel rail and replacing that one just like those two back there were so now i'm sweating so this was like a super simple way of testing your fuel injectors there's other ways like you put like a screwdriver up to it and hear it click when it's working but i don't know the clicking method like if it worked for you it worked for you but i like you know actual data saying that it's faulty so because i could be hearing things you never know so we're going to replace that fuel injector and that should hopefully be the the uh, root cause of our misfire. I'm also going to buy another fuel injector harness. Because this one I don't really like. I mean, it works a bit, but I think I'll have to get one out of like an XKR or something like that. Some other one that's compatible. Maybe I can find an S Type R one, but that's another thing on the list. But that's an easy way to test them. I mean, I say easy, you have to take out the supercharger and all that. <laughs> Once you get that daunting task done, testing the fuel injector is actually pretty easy. Um, I might get the other ones cleaned out just so we don't have to come in here again. But 
yeah if you like this video i know it's super simple i mean i'm not a mechanic so if i can do it you definitely can do it so yeah get at it it's not that hard at all you just need a little multimeter i like mine a lot it's only like 20 30 bucks uh, you could use any simple one though rubber freight one whatever so we're gonna swap that out and hopefully she'll be running like a top once we get this thing all back together if we ever do that's a whole nother task but there's a little sneak peek at the supercharger. That's been taking a while because I've been having to wait on parts, have them come in, need tools to put the parts on. It's taking a couple more weeks than expected, which is kind of crazy because it's so simple to do. But uh, that'll be coming in a couple videos. So if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. You know, I'm no mechanic, but just trying to help you guys out. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Peace.